So you're going away for a couple of weeks and you only want to bring a carry-on because the state of the airports these days is absolute chaos and you don't want to risk the airport losing your luggage. Also, you plan on doing some shopping while you're away, so you need a little bit of extra room. Don't worry, I've got you covered in this video. I used to be a serial overpacker, but over the last few years, I've learned to fine tune the art of packing in a carry-on. In this video, we're gonna cover how you can wear the same pieces over and over again, and how you can create new outfits with them so that you're not repeating the same outfit because that's one of my pet peeves. Now, before you start packing, I just recommend that you check the weather app ahead of time so that you know what you're facing and that you're well prepared with your outfits. Also think about the sort of activities that you're going to be doing on vacation. Are you going to be hanging out poolside in a resort or are you going to be exploring new cities as you go from country to country in Europe? Since it's summer and so many of us are traveling after a couple of long years of lockdown, I feel that we're a little out of practice. So I'm hoping to cover everything in this video. I thought I would keep the outfits in this video light and breezy with a focus on lightweight and breathable fabrics. The twist though is that I love my accessories, especially glasses and shoes because they can truly change up a look. So we're going to be packing four pairs of shoes, three pairs of glasses, and two handbags. Let me just say though, if it was winter, packing would prove to be a lot more challenging in a carry-on, although I have done it. But the beauty of summer clothes is that everything is pretty lightweight and compact. Now when it comes to beauty and skincare, I don't like to compromise on my routine. I'll just store away any mini bottles that come my way and set them aside specifically for travel. For facial cleanser, I'm ditching the liquid cleanser and I'm going with a soap bar to save space on my liquid allowance. This one is by Clay de Peau and I'm very excited to try it as the brand has recently sent it over to me. I absolutely adore this brand so I'm sure that it is going to be a good one. I hardly call my beauty routine minimal and after all of my essentials are packed away I essentially have one bag of skincare and makeup and one bag full of liquids and then I have another little bag that I usually have in my one personal carry-on item aka my purse and I'll put anything in there like lip balms, hand cream, hand sanitizer, uh, tissue, anything of that nature. Oh and a facial mist. I always like keeping one on hand so that I can just missed my face as I'm on the plane. So with all the beauty products packed away, that's about a fourth of my luggage right there, which means I have to be really smart about what I'm gonna be packing away. Before we get into the clothes though, let's get into this video's sponsor, Lily Silk. Lily Silk is an online retailer of silk products. They do everything from apparel to pajamas, pillowcases, bedding, and more. They are a zero waste company and work with TerraCycle. The fabric remains that are used to make their accessories and scrunchies also help them continue to be a zero waste company. Their products are clean and toxin free. They sent over three products that I'm very excited to be styling in this video. The first one that I chose is this Mulberry Silk Tank. It has a racer back, which is really nice and gorgeous for summer because of the detailing. I decided to go up a size with mine. Normally I'm a size small. I opted for a size medium because I wanted more of a loose fit and more of a chill vibe. This one is lightweight and I think it's gonna be perfect for styling in the summertime. The next item I opted for is this retro bat wing silk shirt. It's also made with 100% mulberry silk. I got my usual size, which is a small. It's an elegant and relaxed fit and it features these gorgeous bat wing sleeves. The silky fabric has a minimal 90s aesthetic and can be dressed up and dressed down, also worn to work and worn casually as I will be styling in this video. It features a plunging neckline and a three hook front closure, which means you can wear it on its own with a tank underneath if you prefer more of a modest look or you can wear it open. For the last item, I decided to go with this gorgeous silk wide leg crop pant. It's also made out of 100% mulberry silk. I ended up getting mine in a size four and they fit perfectly. These feature front pleats, pockets, and a side zipper. The crop length is perfect for showcasing any beautiful summer shoe and you all know I'm very much shoe addicted. The lightweight fabric and the loose leg makes it perfect for those hot summer days because it's very breathable. And the crepe silk fabric is chic and effortless and can be dressed up for date nights, worn to the office, or dressed casually. 
This has been by far my favorite item that Lily Silk sent over just because I find it very easy to style and it goes really well with my aesthetic. And on the days where I don't feel like wearing shorts or a dress, I can opt for pants and still stay cool. Lily Silk did send over a discount code, so if you're interested in shopping with them, you can save 12% with code Natalie, and I will be sharing all of the details down in the description below. Thank you, Lily Silk, for sponsoring this video. And with that, let's get back into packing and your capsule wardrobe outfit ideas. The first outfit is quite simple and features this long sleeve top from Comme des Garçons. I've had this one in my collection for so long now that I'm surprised that it's still in such good condition. But I like to pack a long sleeve shirt with me whenever I travel, even in the summertime, because you never know what the AC is gonna be like indoors. You never know if the temperature is gonna drop significantly in the evening. So a long sleeve shirt just offers me a little bit of warmth if I need it. I paired it with those silk trousers from Lily Silk and then my Birkenstocks. It's just such a simple classic outfit. It's absolutely timeless and the pieces will flow well with everything else that I'm packing in this video. For the second outfit, I'm wearing the same shirt as before and then I'm packing one pair of shorts. Just one pair because I think a pair of white shorts in the summertime is just so chic and elegant, even with a more casual look. Here I'm wearing my pool slides from MM6. I have my city spike bag from Balenciaga and the cotton shorts from the Frankie shop, which I got back in, I think back in the winter actually, because I knew this was gonna probably be an item that sold out fast. And I was right, now that it's summertime, I can't find these shorts anywhere. The third outfit features a vest from Oaken Fort, and I bought this one a couple of months ago. It offers good coverage. It's a little bit looser on the body. The neck isn't too low, which means that it's quite a modest look if you don't want to wear a tank top. If you find that tank tops are perhaps too revealing and they're not within your comfort zone, then definitely look at a vest as an option. Here I paired it with those Lily Silk trousers, and I love the way that this look. It's kind of giving me 90s retro aesthetic vibes and I paired it with my Balenciaga city bag and my Birkenstocks with the gold buckles and I love this look. Speaking of modest fashion, a great tip when you're dressing for hot summer days and you wanna keep cool but you don't wanna show a lot of skin is to go for lightweight fabrics such as silk. Here I'm wearing my Lily Silk Batwing blouse and I've buttoned it up with the three buttons all the way up. However, you can wear a tank underneath or you can just keep it open halfway. Totally depends on your comfort level. And then I've also paired it with those Lily Silk trousers. Everything is very lightweight and breathable, which means that I'm going to be staying cool even though I'm wearing trousers and a long sleeve blouse. I did accessorize it with my city bag and with a little Hermes silk scarf because I just wanted to add a little bit of personality. I love having timeless pieces in my wardrobe. For example, this white tank that I'm wearing here along with those Lily silk trousers, but I always look at my accessories in order to bring an outfit to life. Here I'm wearing my Hermes scarf just around my shoulders, just draped very simply. And then I've got my layered necklace from Julia Vaughn. And then my oversized aviator glasses from Port Tanger. My city spike bag leans towards my love of Balenciaga, but the spikes really show my personality for things that are a little bit quirky, a little bit different and not so trend driven. So whenever you're looking at building outfits or a wardrobe, or even if you're packing for holiday, then my tip is go for those basic classic pieces and then have fun with your accessories and bringing those outfits to life that way. It's not about having a ton of clothes in your wardrobe. It's more about being creative in terms of how you're styling your pieces and in building an accessories wardrobe that's going to help you tell the story of who you are and what your personal style is. I really hope this makes sense. I'm trying to explain it to you in the most cohesive manner that I can. So if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment below and I'll get back to you. For this look, I decided to go with my Frankie shop vest. I layered a white tank underneath. I've actually worn this outfit a few times now, variations of this outfit. It's something that I'm very comfortable in and it keeps me very cool as we get into these crazy heat wave temperatures. Again, those Lily Silk pants are just excellent for circulating the air and making sure that I keep cool in the summertime. For this outfit, I'm going with that Lily Silk tank. Again, I got mine in a size medium, so I decided to go up a size just to get a looser fit. 
I love how it looks together with the pant and with those Margiela pool slides. And if I wanted to just cover up a little bit more because maybe I felt too exposed or maybe if it was chillier and I wanted to wear a layer, then I would just grab that Comme des Garçons shirt and then I would just drape it over my shoulders. This is a great look, one that I could wear to the airport so that I have options of layering in case it gets a little bit cool. Or I could just wear it around the city if I'm exploring. It's very comfortable and it's very chic as well in my opinion. For the next look, we're keeping the same top, the, the tank from Lily Silk, the Comme des Garçons shirt. We're changing over to those white shorts from the Frankie shop. And then here, I've got a pair of sneakers that have a side zip. These are from P448. I think that's how you say the brand. They are made in Italy. They're kind of like skater style inspired and they're supremely comfortable. I love a pair of white sneakers and these ones are excellent for my summertime looks. The bag, by the way, is Balenciaga and this is the Bizarre Tote in the size medium and I think they discontinued this one. For the next look, we're keeping with the same white shorts. We're changing over to the Oaken Fort vest. And then I've got that Lily Silk tank underneath just to create a little bit more modesty there. I'm wearing the same white P448 sneakers as before. And then my Balenciaga City bag. The glasses are a little bit more simple and I'm going with these Saint Laurent square frames that I've had in my collection for many years now. I bought these on sale at Saks a few years ago and they were an amazing find. Definitely one of my favorite pair of glasses. For outfit number 11, I'm going with that Lily Silk Batwing blouse. I love this outfit and I actually wore it out this weekend and I felt so comfortable and so cool in it. And by cool, I, I mean temperature wise cool because it was quite a hot day, but I have those cotton shorts again. And then that Lily Silk blouse just really allows the air to circulate in through the body, which is awesome. I'm wearing my silver flip flops from Balenciaga. I scored these ones at the outlet. They were such a great find. And then of course my Balenciaga City Spike bag, which is a favorite of mine. For the next outfit, I'm wearing the same blouse as before. And these are a pair of seersucker cotton trousers. That was hard to say, cotton trousers that I recently picked up at Uniqlo for $30. They were $29.99 Canadian, and I think that's the regular price. Uh, but these trousers are great, and I've been looking for something similar to this for quite a while now. And I've paired it here with those silver sandals from Balenciaga, and then that city spike bag again. There's Theo, he was, this was filmed around his snack hour. Yes, my cat likes his snacks and he was just trying to get my attention because he wanted to eat. For the next outfit, I'm wearing my white tank. I, I'm not at a point where I feel 100% comfortable just wearing a tank on its own, so I like to add a little bit of coverage, and that's why I like to drape my Hermes silk scarf over my shoulders. It just gives me a little bit of coverage and it means that I'm more comfortable in my skin. I don't like showing too much skin. I'm sure that you've picked that up if you follow me on Instagram or on uh, YouTube here, but I, I like to be a little bit more covered up where possible. Okay, this next look is a little crazy and we're going stripes on stripes. I don't shy away from pattern on pattern. In fact, I absolutely adore it. And even though my style has been more minimal and simple in the last few years, pattern on pattern is still something that makes me very happy and I love seeing it on other people. I wanted to try it out for myself in a much more simple manner. So that's why I went for these striped Uniqlo trousers and that stripe Comme des Garçons shirt together. This would make a great airport look by the way. So if you want to pack less in your carry-on, keep in mind that you can wear any outfit that's a little bit bulker, bulkier on the plane and save a little space in your luggage as well. And then for the last look, I have my Frankie Shop vest again with those Uniqlo trousers. I didn't know if this was going to work out at first when I put it together, but I have that white tank underneath which pulls it back to the white stripes in the trouser. And then the white sneakers also have a little bit of a taupe uh, bronzy color shoelace moment happening 
which ties it back to the vest. So if you're ever wondering if two styles go together and you're wondering how you can make them look more cohesive, definitely look at your color story. Try to minimize your colors to about two to three. Your looks look a lot more intentional and effortless, which is something that I think we all want. So that's everything for this video today. I just want to say thank you to everybody for watching. Thank you for, for all of your support. I just hit 10K on YouTube and I'm so thrilled about that. And I just want to thank everybody for supporting me and your comments and watching. I'm just beyond thrilled. And I also want to say thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I've been curious about their clothes for some time now. And now that I'm trying it out and styling it for myself, I can just vouch for them and say that their clothes are really beautiful pieces very elegant and things that can be incorporated into a wardrobe in numerous ways which I think is something that we all want whenever we're shopping or adding a new piece into our wardrobe anyhow that was a very long rant thank you so much for watching I will see you in your next video let me know what you think of these outfits would you wear them would you pack these in your wardrobe okay I'll see you in the next one bye